video now. Do you want to say your name? Oh, Tia. Hi, Tia. I'm Juba Billy. And <laughs> Tia is possibly going to have to give me a transvaginal ultrasound. Yeah. Your doctors want me to look at your uterus and ovaries. Yes. Let's see if one of them has flipped over like a <laughs> pancake. Most definitely. That needed to be on the nutter side. So, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. And I can see the screen. This is your uterus. Oh, there it is. Empty. Comes. Empty <laughs> as it always has been. There we go. My <laughs> empty uterus. I'm not allowed to show a picture of that, though. I'm sorry. It's just, she could, I bet she could take a picture of it and print it. <laughs> okay, where's my ovary that's gone pancake? They think that it's your right ovary, but I want this one. Yeah. Oh no, I can tell. I can tell you which one it is, honey. <laughs> it's something over here. Something in this area over here. Just bring that little tubey over there, and we'll see. Everything would be okay. So that lump up there. It's one of the things that the doctors wanted to see if it's attached to your uterus, and yes, it is. It's supposed to be? It's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. They didn't know if you had random things floating around in your abdomen. Yes, yeah, so because male doctors just never know what's going on up in that. Because he actually came in there and asked me. I can tell he's not a doctor who used to deal with females. He's like, so can you tell me about your what's been going on lately with your vagina? I was oh, like, that's uh, fantastic. So much uh, etiquette and poise with that. I was one. like, wow. <laughs> well, let me, well, let, let me tell you about my JJ girlfriend. <laughs> oh, how fantastic. That must have made, <laughs> made you feel super comfortable. But I can tell he was like really, he was more uncomfortable. Oh, no, he did, did, you can't make me uncomfortable like that. <laughs> oh, no, you can't make me uncomfortable like that. I'm I'm good. I'm I'm big girl. Good. <laughs> okay. So this is your right ovary. How do you know? <laughs> that actually looks like a baby to me. No. That's... Yeah, no, like see there's the baby head, there's the shoulder, there's oh the goodness. legs, and oh. the hands holding together like this. Don't you see what I see? I, I do see what you see, but that's <laughs> that's not necessarily what's going well, on. I, right how now. do you know that? The, how will you know from this gray and stuff? Well, I mean, like is like is your ovary grayer or blacker on one side, so you can tell that it's on the wrong side? <laughs> no, what I look for is I look for blood flow. I look to make sure that it's not it's not torsed. So if it twisted upon itself, then it will not have any blood flow in it. If it is... And what would indicate lack of their own blood flow or blood flow? Uh, whether or not I can get a pulse wave. So when I put color on it, it'll show me what's happening kind of in your... And this is my ovary. Yes. And the fact that the pulse wave is not making color there... That's different. <laughs> okay. But we have a little bit of flow around it. So that could just be a cyst in your ovary. Okay, wait a minute. Is this the ovary? No, 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 no. Okay, so this whole thing here, uh -huh. this is your uterus. Okay. And then right off to the side, this is your right ovary. This right here, this mm -hmm. little black hole. Yep. <laughs> the black hole <laughs> the that black never hole gave me any babies is the... Is, is your ovary, yes. Oh, yeah. The black hole. This, right yes, here. that is your ovary. Okay, let's pulse wave it. <laughs> yeah, we see. A little bit on the side, a little bit around, but that's, that's still a little bit. That's better than no flow at all. Well, I can tell you, honey, something is not white Something's about this. Not right. Yeah. See, so, you now, the problem with torsion is that torsion means that if that is torsed and it twisted upon itself, the only way to untwist it is to... Open you up? Open you up and untwist it. Which puts you in bed for two months. Oh, nice. Yeah, but uh, we would prefer not to have to do that to you, but... Well, I guess you could get my boyfriend to come in here and push me from the other side. And, and knock it back in order. <laughs> 
Put this. That sounds hard. Can you just shove her the other direction? She's we'll that's it, she's right. Oh. I'm going to sue his insurance company. I am. I'm afraid of suffering. I don't care if he's my boyfriend. <laughs> this bullshit is what this is. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You're, it sounds like you're just having a really, really rough week. <laughs> and then my mother. I was down at the hospital, down in Tacoma. They restrained me. Why? Because I wanted to leave. You have the right to leave your patients. I. No shit. Okay, so again, no. Why did they restrain you? <laughs> What was oh. <laughs> so far, you have not given me an answer to that question. <laughs> what allowed them to restrain you? Because uh. I would imagine that if you're the patient and you don't want to be there, then you have the right to leave. That would be, that's within the Bill of Rights. I also have the right to not be restrained. Most definitely, it has. I, I mean, like, was I was I going to hurt somebody? Did I threaten to hurt somebody? No. Did I threaten to hurt myself? No. I said, I want to leave this hospital. I'm going to go. That I understand that that's AMA. Yeah, as long and, as you understand that it's And AMA. I understand, but I'm of sound body and mind. And I'm not going to leave here and go home. I'm going to leave here and go to the VA administration hospital. Uh, but you're not providing me the health care. Okay, you're not providing me health care that I feel is suitable for what you need. Right. Yeah. And uh, no, you have to blow. Really? Yeah. Oh, now that's different. <laughs> I was like, I wasn't the driver of the vehicle. Nor was that indicated until I said I wanted to leave. Mm -hmm. But now... But now, all of a sudden, what, I'm drunk? I'm crazy? What? Yeah. Now they want to see if they can... Uh-uh. And they you have the right to refuse they... that, too. Uh, yeah. yeah. You yeah. Not have to. Well, obviously, I did not. Because <laughs> they brought in... Three security guards oh. physically restrained me by tying both my hands and feet. It for it, it, it's like this. I was like this. Oh, what Tacoma Hospital did you go to? That sounds crazy. Tacoma General. Really, and that's how they treat. Okay. So that's how they treated you. That okay. was that was so and gave me two shots of Halidol, five milligrams each. Two shots of last pam, two milligrams each, and the last thing I remember was the oh, nurses. God. The nurses. Well, there was one nurse, a male. You got kids, don't you? Yes, girl? I do. I have one. You, you, it was a boy or girl. Little boy. Okay, so you know when he's being mean, you know that face. You know mm -hmm. this face. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? This one nurse, was he was shoving his hand in my face like this when they were tying me down was making this face. And I knew his name then, because you see how I say I'm, I'm, I'm vlogging about this. Uh -huh. I put this on the internet. Okay. Oh my goodness. So I told him, this is what I do. You know, I actually work in social networking on the internet, so, and make websites. So I said to him, at that time I, I knew his name because I read it. Uh-huh. And I don't remember it now after All 10, that. Mil yeah, after yeah. 10 milligrams of Halidol and two, four <laughs> milligrams of Lazapan and five milligrams of morphine. You wouldn't remember your name after that. Yeah, right. That's fantastic. So, I, I told him, I said, you don't know you don't know who you're dealing with. Well, I'm going to find out your name. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I've got your name. I'm going to put it on the internet. And I'm going to tell the entire world what you just did to me. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm going to I'm gonna make sure that your mama knows. Yeah. And you your friends, you. your future potential employers, everybody. Right? And it, they I just so I did a complaint yesterday I think somebody's gonna end up getting in trouble wow because I don't I, nobody has been able anybody that I've told this story hasn't been able to tell me like what would be a justification like no if they require you to blow mm -hmm. I, I did I had drank I had had two drinks okay so still that's, that's okay <laughs> I'm like Totally fine. But I can't believe that they would be... I mean, this is like something you could sue a hospital over. Most definitely. Why would they do this? They have to train their train their people better than this. They're supposed to. When you say they have to, that's... I, no, I'm, I'm assuming that they would 